Right now on Today in AZ, Arizona is saying goodbye to a great public servant. How former Attorney General Grant Woods is being remembered this morning following his death. Plus, more than a week after President Biden announces seaports in the L.A. area would run 24-7 to keep the supply chain running smoothly, new problems are arising. Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for waking up with us on Today in AZ. I'm Trisha Hendricks. It's Sunday, October 24th, 2021. Our big story this morning, Grant Woods, who won national attention for his moving eulogy of his close friend, Senator John McCain, died Saturday at the age of 67. Woods' wife, Marlene, said in a statement, Grant was the love of my life, my best friend. My heart is broken. I just cannot believe he's gone. I can't believe our time together is over. Woods was one of the first people on McCain's staff when the former POW ran for Congress in 1982. Woods went on to serve two terms as Republican Attorney General in the 1990s. Grant Woods and his wife shared five children. Funeral arrangements are pending as we speak. As we remember Grant Woods and his many years of dedicated service to the state, leaders throughout our community are reacting to the news of his death. He served as the state's top legal voice from 1991 to 1999 and was the former chief of staff for former J Senator John McCain, delivering the Mavericks eulogy in 2018. Cindy McCain tweeting her reaction saying Grant was one of her best friends. Her only comfort is knowing he is laughing and joking with John now and watching over all of us. Senator Kirsten Cinema, who Grant endorsed, says Grant's leadership helped deliver lasting results for Arizona over many years and her heart is with his family. And former Governor Jan Brewer calling Grant an honorable public servant who she will miss deeply. Governor Doug Ducey also offering his deepest sympathies to Grant's family offering his thoughts and prayers for his five children and wife, Marlene, adding Arizona honors his life and years of public service. Definitely hearing so many thoughts, heartfelt, so much respect and thoughts for Grant's family. Stay with 12 News for continuing coverage of how the Arizona community is remembering Grant Woods, both on air and online at 12news.com or the free 12 News app. Turning now to what we have on tap weather-wise this Sunday morning, a beautiful morning in store, feeling like fall all the more with lows in the 50s and 60s. Here's Team 12's Lindsay Riley with more on your forecast. It's going to be a beautiful Sunday across Arizona. Still breezy out there, especially up in the high country. But here's the hour-by-hour -hour look today.